We outmanned, we outnumbered. Wally Johnson is a violence interventionist in Anacostia. We come into a community, uh, we have to get directly uh, with the people that's active, involved in some of these conflicts and things like that, and build their trust and gain that trust with them and let them know that we really genuinely love them. He says the mayor's new $15 million gun violence prevention emergency operations center based here in Anacostia will bring more structure and resources to the work he's been doing for years. This community that we in right now, Historic Anacostia, so we have full staff that's working in this entire community that's servicing 60 youth and a percentage of their families. But April Goggins, a leader of the Black Lives Matter DC movement, says the mayor's plan is just lip service. Declaring uh, violence a public health program is a stunt. There's no um, mistake why she chose Anacostia. There may be a, um, a rise in homicides and shootings, but this is also where there's a lot of construction. And what we know is that police, gentrification, go hand in hand. As you can see on this map of gun related crimes in the past two years, the majority occurred in Ward 7 and 8. Linda Harper, the district's director of gun violence prevention, says the mayor's new center will focus its efforts first on Anacostia using a three prong approach, focusing on the small number of people who commit gun related crimes, the areas where they're committed the most and enhancing the violence prevention efforts already taking place. We will be connecting our residents with trauma informed services stable housing, employment, and other critical supports. You'll notice something different about the neighborhood today. There aren't people out. That's because violence interventionists like Wally have asked people to stay home. There was a homicide early this morning and they're trying to figure out what the cause was. Until they do that, they said they want to make sure that everyone is safe. From here in Southwest DC, Ariane Daytil, WUSA 9.